Oh my. The Invisible Hours. Don't make this game the Invisible Game. If there's one game from all of 2017 that you probably missed, it's The Invisible Hours. It's available across platforms, and the type of gameplay is a bit like the game Clue or Cluedo. It's kind of a whodunit. But you're part of this movie. You're part of the sequencing of that movie. And the way you play the game, which is so refined and orchestrated, that you jump from character to character, a bit like Ten Little Indians, who, did, who killed the main character. It's amazing. You get to see the different light and dark sides to each one of the other characters, what they do, how they deceive one another, and I'm still not finished with the story, but it just brings me back time and time again because it's it's this kind of intensity um, that I, I hadn't seen in other titles. It's a little bit slow, but actually you learn that that pacing suits the game very well. So all in all, what would I say about the, the Invisible Hours? I would say it's a storytelling mechanic that is certainly unmissable, that you must try this experience. The story just stands right out. As originality is concerned, this is off the charts. I have not seen oh, a game this like this. This was no accident. He died from a blow to his head and the blood has only started congealing around the edges. So, if you're in for something new and you've got an open mind, do not miss The Invisible Hours.